Hello everybody, welcome to another video about wine. Today we are talking about wine and food pairings. I'm gonna tell you what wine you should serve with your Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving is my favorite holiday, so I'm very excited to talk about the wine and food pairing for a Thanksgiving meal. In Thanksgiving, it's kind of interesting territory because when we think about wine and food pairings on a, a basic level, you can kind of bet on big, bold red wines to go with big, hearty meat dishes. White wines would be for lighter food or seafood. And Thanksgiving, why well, I said it's kind of interesting because we're kind of in the middle. You know, we're, we're kind of in this middle ground with the, with the turkey. You could get away with serving either a red wine or a white wine. So let me explain that. What we have here for my Thanksgiving meal, we have a creamy roasted pumpkin soup. We have mashed potatoes and gravy stuffing Brussels sprouts with bacon, cranberry sauce, and of course, turkey. So when it comes to the wine pairing, okay, so yes, we have turkey, it's meat, so you can get away with red wine, but it needs to be lighter because the turkey is a very light, you know, it's not a big steak. So you want, if you're gonna do red wine, you want it to be on the lighter side. Now, when it comes to whites, you would want something with a little acidity, which would be nice because another example here with all of our food is very fatty. So we have buttery potatoes, we have stuffing which has butter. It's, it's very fatty. So you would want something with some acid to kind of cut through that fat. So the wines that I selected today, we have an Etna Bianco, which I think would be perfect because this is going to have high acidity to kind of cut through all of that fat. They've also done, for this wine, they've also done some, a little bit of skin contact, a little bit of oak, not too much. That's kind of where we run into some problems with, with serving like a Chardonnay, because a lot of times, especially in the United States, sometimes they're a little heavy on the oak. You get a nice buttery Chardonnay, maybe that wouldn't be so good. You want something to, to be a little uh, opposing. So the, the high acid and something like this to cut through all the fat. Now the one that I'm going to try today, this is also from Etna. This is the Etna Red. And I think the Etna Red is the perfect Thanksgiving wine. So this is very light bodied. It's not going to overpower the turkey, but at the same time, it does have a little, a little bit of tannin to, to kind of to, to balance that out, to kind of stand up to the turkey. And it's very high in acid, so that would cut through the fat as well. And I think it's a, a perfect wine to serve with your Thanksgiving meal. So we'll go ahead and give this Etna Red from Benanti a try here. Smells like cherries. tastes like cherries as well. And because of that high acid, you kind of think tartness. So I would say sour cherries, maybe cranberry. We know how cranberry goes with a Thanksgiving dinner. You also get a little smokiness and some minerality as well. Yeah, I think it's I think it's perfect because it's very light, it's it's elegant, so it's not too much to to overpower the turkey because turkey is a light meat, but at the same time, like I said, you do want something that can kind of hold its own against the meat and all the the kind of fat that we have going on here. So if you can't get your hands on any Etna wine, white or red, I do have some alternative suggestions for you. For a white, you could go with maybe a Riesling and for a red, I know a lot of people like to say Pinot Noir. This is very similar to a Pinot Noir, light, elegant, uh, those cherry kind of flavors. I think it would be perfect for your Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up and question of the day, 
What are you pairing with your Thanksgiving dinner? What wine do you plan to drink? And for those of you outside of the United States, have you ever had a traditional Thanksgiving dinner? Let me know in the comments. I will see you in the next video, but for now, cheers.